Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson and today I'm going to show you my e-track system for my enclosed trailer. Today I'll be sharing with you not only the components I've chosen but also some deals and discounts I've found uh, using some different vendors to get the best prices possible. For starters I've got these wood beam socket holders. I plan to do two shelves in the front of my trailer, so at a minimum I knew I'd be needing at least eight of these. I was able to order 20 of these from Amazon for $51.50. That comes out to be $2.58 each. Alternatively, I could have ordered them in singles for $6.99 from Northern Tool or for $10.78 from eTrailer. So substantially more. Uh, like I said, I had to buy those in bulk though. So we're looking at five, six, seven dollars upwards of $10 each versus the $258 I ended up buying them for. I ordered 10 feet of E-Track from Northern Tool and Equipment for $3 a foot. Alternatively, I found E-Track available from E-Trailer for $360 to a foot, Stamp Rack for $350 a foot, U.S. Cargo for $287 a foot, Harbor Freight for $4 a foot, Trailer Part USA for $440 a foot, and Amazon for $4 a foot. And the reason I was able to get this so cheap is because it was on sale from Northern Tool and Equipment for $14.99 for a five foot section, regularly priced at $29.99. So quite a substantial savings. I purchased 20 feet of this vertical e-track from Amazon for $49.99. That was the best price I found. Alternatively, I could have purchased it from Trailer Parts USA for $5.77 a foot, US Cargo Control for $3 a foot, or Northern Tool for $3 a foot. I purchased this J-Hook from Northern Tool and Equipment for $7.49, regularly priced at $12.99. The best price I found on J-Hooks was on Amazon. However, I needed to purchase 10 units in order to get the price of 410 each, uh, and the total for that was $40.95. This landscape tool holder was one of the most expensive items at $29.99. Uh, that is $10 off their normal price from Northern Tool. I was unable to find this from any other suppliers, but this is a smart cargo brand, so perhaps there is uh, additional options to purchase from them directly. I found these two straps on sale from Northern Tool for $18.74, normally $27.99. Again, a great savings there. The breaks down to be $9.37 a strap. Alternatively, they're priced at Harbor Freight for $9.99 a strap. I also found them at US Cargo Control for $8.69 a strap. I opted not to purchase any of the O-ring hooks uh, simply because those are available cheapest from Harbor Freight at $3.99 each. I do plan to purchase some of those in the future, but for now my orders were from Amazon and Northern Tool only. I purchased two of these rope tie-offs for $4.49, regularly priced at $6.99 from Northern Tool. Alternatively, these can be found at Trailer Parts USA for $6.80, or I also found them on Amazon for $3.29 each. However, that's in a quantity of 10 for $32.88. I purchased these rollers from Amazon for $10.48 each. I had a difficult time finding these. I did find these alternatively at US Cargo Control for $15.35 each. I purchased four of these E-Track end caps for $187 each from Northern Tool and Equipment, regularly $2.99. Alternatively, I found these on Amazon for $17.75 for 10 of these, coming down to a price of $178. So with that discount from Northern Tool and Equipment, it made it a lot more competitive for me to buy a fewer quantity. I found this spare tire holder on sale at Northern Tool for $5.99, regularly priced at $8.99. Even at $8.99, this was a good deal. A lot of the ones I was looking at were closer to $15 or $20. I only purchased the one, and I am regretting that I didn't actually get two of these. All in all, I spent about $230 on all these parts, uh, which is a lot more than I wanted to spend. Uh, it starts to add up and get pretty expensive with these E-Track systems. Um, that's a good start for me and get me going down the road with what I want and need. But if I would have just spent everything at Northern Tool or somewhere else, I would have spent substantially more. I, I probably would have been easily over $300, if not four or $500 for all the same components. So shopping around, looking at different stores, different prices, Amazon, Northern Tool ended up being the cheapest. Um, the only real reason Northern Tool was the cheapest for me was because they had all the sales going on. I hope you enjoyed watching this Thrifty Garage video. I hope this was informative. Check out the channel, subscribe, and uh, keep watching. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.